Hello everyone! In this video, sum and difference identities for tangent ang ating pag-uusapan. Kailangan din dito yung concept ng conjugation, so make sure na natatandaan mo pa yun. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Just like the other sum and difference identities, magmumula yung concept natin dito sa unit circle with a specific emphasis dito sa ating special angles. Nung nag-discuss tayo ng sum and difference for sine function, inenumerate ko doon yung solution kung paano makuha itong sine, cosine, at tangent ng 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So kung gusto mong malaman yung full solution nito, ilalagay ko na lang yung link dito sa upper right corner ng video na to. Sa ngayon, kailangan na nating maging familiar sa tatlong trigo function ng bawat special angle dahil gagamitin natin yan dito sa sum identities ng tangent. Sum identities for tangent looks like this. We have tan A plus B. Again, A plus B are angles not necessarily na complementary or supplementary, pero dapat sila ay special angle. That is, kung given tayo ng tangent 105, tulad ng nandito sa example 1, iisip tayo ng dalawang angle na special na kapag inad ay 105 ang sum. Tapos, i-apply natin itong formula na to. Kung yung ating operation dito sa sum, dahil nga sum ay positive or plus, plus din yung nasa numerator. Tapos sa denominator, minus. And then, ito yung gagamitin natin na pattern. Tangent 105 can be written as tangent 60 plus 45, right? So, using the pattern, plus daw yung nasa taas, minus daw yung nasa baba. Tapos, ito ay tan 60, ito ay tangent 45. Minus or 1 minus tangent 60 times tangent 45. So, ilista natin yung mga values na ito. Tangent 60 is just square root of 3. Ang 45 natin ay 1. Tapos, we have 1 minus square root of 3 times 1. So, for the numerator, wala na tayong ma-add Pero sa denominator, mamumultiply pa natin, magiging 1 minus square root of 3. And then, pagbalik ta rin lang natin yung format ng nandito sa numerator, that is 1 plus square root of 3, para maging kamuka or katulad nung nasa denominator. We cannot divide them any further. Hindi na rin natin sila ma-factor out dahil yan na yan. So, what we have to do next is to get the simplified version of this kung saan gagamit tayo ng conjugation. Nagsisimplify tayo dahil yung denominator natin ay may radical pa. Kaya ito ang ating next step. Imumultiply natin to sa kanyang conjugate. Conjugate na yung tawag kasi dalawa na yung terms dito sa denominator. Meron tayong 1 plus square root of 3. Ganon din sa taas. 1 plus square root of 3. So in that way, the denominator will just be 1 minus square root of 3 squared. Kaya matatanggal na yung kanyang square root. Sa numerator naman, gagamitin natin yung FOIL method. We have the first. That's 1. Next, we have the outer. 1 times square root of 3 is just square root of 3. Tapos, inner, another square root of 3. Tapos, last, square root of 3 times square root of 3, that's square root of 9. Simplify natin dito. The numerator will be 1 plus square root of 9, that is 4, plus 2 square root of 3. As for our denominator, meron tayong 1 minus 3. So, 4 plus 2 square root of 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Tapos, pwede natin paghiwalayin yung dalawang fraction. Meron ditong 4. Tapos, dito yung 2 square root of 3. Tapos, magkabukod sila na denominator. So, simplifying the answer to tangent 105 is, this is negative 2. Tapos dahil minus na ito, 
magiging minus na yan. Square root of 3. Matatanggal na to. So, ito yung tangent 105 natin. Again, nag-rationalize tayo kanina dahil yung denominator natin ay merong radical. So, ganyan yung solution kapag some identities ng tangent. Let's go naman doon sa difference identities niya. Halos kapareho lang, ang pinagkaiba ay yung operation. So, minus na yung nasa numerator, tapos plus na yung nasa denominator. So, we have here tangent 15 degrees. Kung napanood mo yung video natin about sum and difference ng cosine, nabanggit ko doon na yung 15 degrees pwede siyang 60 minus 45, o kaya naman 45 minus 30. Any of the two will do. Pero gamitin natin yung 45 and 30 sa example na ito. So again, this is tangent. 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. Let's use the pattern. Minus yung nasa taas plus yung nasa baba. This is tan 45. This is also tan 45. This is tan 30. This is tan 30. And then 1. List daw natin dito yung kanilang mga values. For the numerator, tangent 45 is 1. And then tangent 30 is square root of 3 over 3. We have here 1 plus 1 times square root of 3 over 3. So ayusin muna natin, we have 1 minus square root of 3 over 3. Tapos sa baba ay 1 plus square root of 3 over 3. Gamitan natin ng LCD para yung 1, tsaka yung square root of 3 over 3 ay ma-minus sa numerator at ma-add sa denominator. So, ang LCD for the numerator is 3. Okay. Ito ay 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 1, which is 3, minus square root of 3. Same goes for the denominator. 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 1, which is 3, plus square root of 3. Next step, dahil hindi na natin mamaminus yung 3 minus square root of 3 at maa-add yung 3 plus square root of 3, gamitan natin ito ng complex fraction. Meron tayong 3 minus square root of 3 over 3. I-multiply natin sa reciprocal ng main denominator which is 3 over 3 plus square root of 3. This both 3 can be eliminated, maiiwan na lang sa atin yung 3 minus square root of 3 over 3 plus square root of 3. And tulad nung ginawa natin sa first example, itong second example, kailangan nating irrationalize using its conjugate. So, meron tayo ditong 3 minus square root of 3. Yun yung conjugate ng ating denominator. Kinuha lang natin yung two terms, pero in-invert yung operation. Kung ano yung nandito sa baba, yun din yung nasa taas. The denominator will now be 3 squared minus square root of 3 squared. This is a special product, sum and difference of 2 binomial. As for the numerator, gagamitin natin yung FOIL method. 3 times 3, this is 9. Tapos outer, this is negative 3 square root of 3. Ganun din sa inner, Negative 3 square root of 3, tapos sa last, negative square root of 3 times negative, negative times negative, that's positive. Square root of 3 squared. So, matatanggal na rin itong square root sa kanya. So, the resulting fraction will now be 9 minus 6 square root of 3 plus 3. Sa so, denominator naman, meron tayong 9 minus 3. Tuloy natin sa next slide. Now, we have 9 plus 3, that is 12, minus 6, square root of 3. 9 minus 3, that's 6. And tulad nung ginawa natin sa first example, paghiwalayin natin yung kanyang fraction, we have 12 over 6, minus 6 square root of 3 over 3, or should I say 6 pala yung denominator. So 12 over 6, that is 2. 6 over 6, that's just 1, or simply, square root of 3. So, ito ngayon yung answer natin sa tangent 15. 2 minus square root of 3. 
So that's it kung paano natin gamitin yung tangent identities, yung kanyang sum and difference identities to get the value of the trigonometric function ng mga angle na pwede namang i-express as the sum or difference of two special angles. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!